Yep. Finally located or mounted the monitor right up here. Used to be tucked away in here. Got the the door mounted. I'm gonna actually paint that. And then I also made oh, I used those brackets. These for a little table. I mounted right here. Right here. It folds up well, like that. I ordered a couple more brackets. I want to put a table on that door right there. And that door panel. So I can cook outside. But right now. So I cut this piece. I was messing with it. And it's hollow. But some of these. Like all literally. From there. To there all the way through and it's like squishy and soft and, and it's really annoying so and i want this to be secure i don't want to fold it up put my coffee up on top start brewing a cup and then all of a sudden the thing breaks or i got my my grill propane stove up on top or whatever i just don't want it breaking so i got this piece piece of wood here that was for the old h2o compartimento so i think i'm just going to trace this onto there i don't want these parts these parts are all chewed up i don't want those nails in them i want the centerpiece the centerpiece is good all right so yeah this will fit Ooh, barely but yeah so we're going to trace this out use this piece <laughs> Hopefully, and it's already stained, which is perfect. All right, got it cut. I'm out of paper towels, so I'm not gonna stain the edges. I think what I'm gonna do is just leave it like this. Instead of using screws, like I said, I want it to be sturdy. We're just gonna drill through, use these flathead screws to bolt it. Bolt this. To that all right got this thing mounted there's another hole we can put a little actually i think we're gonna do that we're gonna put a a small really small one of these screw i don't want it sticking through it to the other side otherwise we're gonna have a pokey sticking through the top so yeah i think we're gonna mount that hold on is it gonna go through? No, it shouldn't. All right, looks like that screw is good. Didn't pop through, so now let's mount this. All right, none of the screws popped through, which is good. Extra sturdy, used one inch screws to mount the bracket to this bad boy. I need to make a strap to hold this to that. But dude, this thing is so sturdy. Freaking perfect. I can even use it as a small desk. Reminds me of middle school. My knees fit. Stretch out. Dude. This is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. This is badass. So I'm trying to figure out how I can secure this without just floating around like that. And I made these for the swivel table so I can hold them to this in the back. I'm thinking I'll do a screw in one of these buttons in here, one in here. That should work. Not too bad. Just hope that won't make noise. Unclip it there. Clip it 
back. I probably don't even need it to put that there, but just in case. Dude, you could barely, you, if you didn't see this, you wouldn't even know that was there. Cool. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to paint that. I just don't like, I don't like that. Nope, nope, nope. But it's getting a little late, I'm getting starving, so. Just a short, quick night. I'll be back at it tomorrow. See you guys then. All right, we're back at it. So I got some more of those brackets, the same ones that I used for that little fold out table. I'm gonna install them over here and over here. Just so we can have a couple tables outside somewhat for uh, cooking. So I was gonna put a tape fold out table right here, but it's just not realistic. It wouldn't be big enough or long wide enough because I don't want it to go past the fender. So this is next best. All right, so here's the game plan. We've got a space back here. We've got two mounting holes. Two there, two there. Perfect little gap right there, or a space. We're gonna use ribbon nuts to secure this through the wood to the door. We'll have about a 14 inch tabletop. Yeah, 14 inches by 22 and a half inches. The propane stove, oh, hi. The propane stove is 21 inches long by 12 inches wide. So it's perfect little table right here. So what we're gonna do is pull this off and figure out our mounting locations and then we're gonna start drilling. So before we actually install that, we're gonna paint this just to help seal it because it is gonna be technically outside when the door's open. So we're gonna paint this. We've got tons of Diamonds Therapy. So I think we're gonna use this, Diamonds Therapy, or should we paint it blue? Tsunami Blue. Shoot. All right, we're using it. We're gonna do it white. Diamonds therapy. We've got plenty left. Let's finish up this. Oh, is this in? It's almost done. Wow. Yeah, let's finish up this can. Again, get this thing sealed up. Nice, dude. That looks awesome. Freaking white, white panel. That's sick. So I got a mount holded in place with this handle. A couple Phillips, but I've got an idea. I had this riveted. In order to remove this, I had to drill them out. But I got these plastic fasteners. So what I think I'm gonna do is probably drill a hole. Like let's say either that big or maybe this big and then hold the panel in using fasteners. But I know the bracket's gonna hold this in place, this in place, the handle's gonna hold this in place. So I'm gonna need something to hold the bottom. So we'll use these fasteners. Now we can easily remove them. I used to have screws holding this one up and they came out like self-drilling school screws. So we don't wanna do that. Um, so now, let's see here. I marked the frame or the door panel, door itself. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab some, some self-drilling screws. And just like what I did with the ceiling, um, we're going to use these screws to mark where the holes are. 
and then that way we know where to install the rivet nuts. All right, we got everything mounted, but we got one problem. And that is Let's see if we can do this with one hand. It won't close. Oh, now it does. So what's happening is this piece is touching this. So something's off. So I think we're gonna run with it. We got our hole marks. So we're gonna take this off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use one screw for now. But I gotta say, I'm digging the freaking white panels. The white panel. I'm definitely gonna paint the panel on the sliding door white. I like that, I like it a lot. All right, we're officially mounted, except for one bolt right there. We just put one bolt in for now, just to see what happens. So, here we go. Oh, looks like we're still hitting. Yeah, it's like pulling it. I wonder if this is off. All right, so I found out what needs to be done and I'm glad, so glad I only put one bolt in. I haven't even drilled the second hole, but look, I pulled it over. I think it was over here. Yeah, I pushed it over right there. Yeah, pulled it over, so it needs to be pulled over. I wonder if this, no, this one's not even hitting. It's this one. Yeah, so let me see if I can loosen this and pull that over more. All right, I got it. That's why always drill only one hole. Because if I would have drilled all three holes and it didn't line up, I'd be screwed. Perfect. Now it freaking closes like it should. Yeah, the first one I, I had to push, push this that way. And then this one that way. Dude, heck yeah. Now these brackets are cool. The only downside of, of them are is this gap. Unused space. So I might have to put some sort of pouch right here or something. Just to hold a little bit of something, I don't know. All right, let's do a little test and see how well this does and the whole reason we're setting this up. Barely flinched. Perfect. Hi, Ozzy. How's it going, buddy? Oh, that's right. We need to install pins. One, two, and three. And we can install a fourth one right there just to cover up that hole. Let's do that right now. I would highly suggest getting you a kit of these because they're freaking awesome. So there we go. Used a quarter inch drill bit. I'm gonna make one, two, three more. And uh, we're just using you know, those little clips, little fasteners. You can even use some bigger ones if need be. Yeah, these are awesome.
All right, all fastened. I'm gonna stain this probably black, like over there. But um, we do have one problem now. And that is this corner hits that. So we need to chop that the best we can to make it smooth. But watch out, Izzy. Oh, it fits. It does it. Hold on. No, yeah, I gotta round out the round out the corners. We'll do both. But this thing is so damn close to this other box. That's ridiculous. So I think when we, because I'm gonna remake this. When I remake this, we'll probably have to leave out the handle. It may put a hole. So I can stick my hand in there and pull. Yeah. It's too low or too close. But we're going to end this one here. Um, yesterday I installed a folding table inside the van. And today I installed one somewhat outside the van. But um, I think um, tomorrow I should be getting a drawer slide heavy duty drawer slide because I want to remake the what I call my camping drawer so we'll see what happens and um, I'm also going to put like I said another folding table on the other door well, who knows I may not even need these tables but it's all it's a learning experience I'm learning what I need what I don't need how to do it and what else what I need, what I don't need, how to do it, how not to do it. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm learning with this van. Um, but I appreciate you guys for hanging out. I hope this was helpful, especially if you're building your own van. I'm trying to utilize, my goal is to utilize every single space I can. I don't want to use any space unused. It's a freaking box. Okay, we need to use as much space as we can. But I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right? Adios. Wee. <laughs>